Welcome to Ubud, a vibrant cultural hub nestled in the heart of Bali. With its lush landscapes, ancient temples, and bustling markets, this enchanting town offers a plethora of experiences for visitors to explore. Planning a one-day itinerary can be both exciting and overwhelming. I've heard so much about Ubud, but there's just so much to see and do. Now the problem is, how to plan a one-day itinerary. There are many places to visit in Ubud, and this is just one example of itinerary that you can use. You may adjust your itinerary depending on your interest. Teganungan Waterfall. Start your Ubud day trip by heading to Teganungan Waterfall, one of Ubud's largest waterfalls. It's about a 30 minutes drive from the center of Ubud. At Teganungan Waterfall, you'll see a spectacular 40 meter high waterfall crashing down into a natural pool. The waterfall is typically opens from 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. The entrance fee of Teganungan Waterfall is 20,000 Indonesian rupiah, or around 1.27 US deep. On the way from the starting point to the bottom line of Teganungan Waterfall, you will pass some bird nests. It is a good place for taking pictures with the beautiful view of Teganungan Waterfall's background. If you find yourself with more time left, you can head to the next destination early or visit Goa Gaja or the Elephant Cave nearby. Elephant Cave is only a 17 minutes drive away from Tegalungan Waterfall. Tegalalang Rice Terraces Next destination is Tegalalang Rice Terraces. One of the most popular green attractions is Tegalalang Rice Fields, also known as Tegalalang Rice Terrace. It is a series of beautifully arranged paddies. Travelers can hire a taxi, rent a scooter, or join a guided tours to reach the terraces. The entrance fee is approximately 10,000 to 15,000 Indonesian rupiah, or around 0.70 USD to 1.05 USD. The Galalang Rice Terrace's usual opening hours are from 8 a.m. to 6.00 p.m. Lunch. Head back to the center of Ubud. There are nice place for lunch near the Sacred Monkey Forest Sanctuary. Some good local Indonesian restaurant around the Monkey Forest are Warung Semester or Tropical View Ubud. Ubud Monkey Forest. After lunch, you can visit the Monkey Forest. Ubud Monkey Forest will have you entertained for hours, not only because of the monkeys, but the forest itself too. It's also a great place if you want to get a real feel for the true culture and nature of Bali. The Ubud Monkey Forest is a nature reserve and temple complex in Ubud, Bali. It houses approximately 340 monkeys, which are known as long-tailed macaques. There are four groups of monkeys, each occupying different territories in the park. In the Monkey Forest, you can walk around and enjoy the serene atmosphere. The Monkey Forest contains the Pura Dalam Agung Padang Tegal Temple, the monkeys at Ubud Monkey Forest are tamed. They have grown up around people their whole lives, so they are used to the constant humans passing through, day in, day out. However, it's no secret that people have been bitten in Ubud Monkey Forest. You can really have a great time if you do your research and follow the safety precautions provided. You'll be able to explore the forest and observe the monkeys at ease. If you just remember, they are not pets, they are wild animals. Ubud Art Market. Slowing things down in the afternoon and located just a walking distance from the monkey forest is the most popular market in Bali. The Ubud Art Market is located smack bang in the center of Ubud town, so it would be foolish not to swing by on your one day in Ubud itinerary. Ubud Palace. The next stop on your trip will be Ubud's Royal Palace. It's just a few minutes walk from Ubud Art Market. The palace was built between 1800 and 1823, and you can visit it free of charge. Traditional Balinese Massage. No one day Ubud itinerary is perfect without adding in a stop to get a traditional Balinese massage. Ubud has some of the best spas and wellness retreats in the whole of Bali, make sure to stop by and treat yourself. There are many massage places in the area, 
One of them is Jane's Spa. The service here is impeccable, and it's one of the best spas in Ubud. It is recommended to book in advance to avoid any disappointment. A Balinese massage will usually start with a gentle warm foot bath to relax you. After that, the therapist will work on your whole body using a combination of acupressure, reflexology, and aromatherapy techniques. It's a great way to start winding down from a full day of exploring Ubud. Traditional Balinese dish for dinner. After your relaxing massage, head towards Bebek Bengil to try the local speciality dish, crispy duck. While you can try this in a lot of places, is a long-standing establishment that specializes in the dish. Thank you for watching. I hope you will enjoy your Ubud trip. We're curious to see just how far our content reaches. Please drop a comment down below letting us know where you're watching from. See you on our next trip.